Today guys, we're going to be talking about a few things that I want to see added in the next Battle Pass in Grand RP. When it comes to Battle Passes, this one definitely wasn't as good as the last one. If you like money, it's a great Battle Pass. You can make a whole lot of cash from it. But there were a few things that I would have loved to see in it, so hopefully the next one has some of these items. Before we get into it, if you haven't already joined the server before and want to, be sure to click the link down below in the description, click on Start Playing, select which server you want to play on, register an account, and download the launcher. And if you want to play Grand RP on your phone, well now you can. The link is down below in the description. Everything you can do on the PC version, you can now do on your mobile phone. And if you use code FROLIX when you sign up, you'll get a free rare accessory. Let's jump into the video here. The very first thing is going to be pets. A while ago, pets were actually in the Battle Pass. I think there was three or four different ones you could get. And then once the pet system actually came out, they ended up removing all of the pets from the Battle Passes in the future. I believe it's the last two that haven't had any pets in it whatsoever. Now, I personally really liked when they had pets in it. Even though I didn't really have much use for them because there wasn't really a purpose to pets. They honestly didn't do anything. But then once the pet system came out, pets skyrocketed in price. And now I really want one. And I'm sure a lot of you guys wouldn't mind getting some as well. Level them up to level 4 or something. They can protect your bunker. They can go mining for you. All kinds of stuff. Now that they're actually useful, it'd be great to see them come back to the Battle Pass, even if it is a crappy little rat or something like that. Maybe some other animals added from GTA 5, like a deer or a cow. Stuff like that. I mean, that would be kind of crazy to run around with a cow, but either way, it would be pretty cool if we could see some pets in the future Battle Passes. The next one. In the current Battle Pass right now, which is one thing a lot of people were fairly disappointed about, by the way, is the fact that there was only regular Prime. Now, I'm honestly okay with that, because when it comes to actually buying Prime, I only ever get regular Prime. For some people, Prime Platinum is more beneficial to them. For me, regular Prime is all I need. So when I saw it was just regular Prime, I wasn't really that disappointed. What really disappointed me, though, was the fact that it wasn't a lot of it. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I got a three-day Prime and then a few five-day primes. In total, I think it was four. So right around 15 days maybe total, maybe 18 days, something like that, which honestly isn't that great. You can get 30 days of prime for 10 grand coins, but then from the battle pass, you get maybe 15 to 18 days of prime, which is worth about five grand coins, maybe six. If prime platinum was in the battle pass, that'd be pretty great, obviously. A lot of people love that, but I'd just like to see more of it, like 10 days of prime or 20 days of prime, because then it actually becomes a bit useful. Like if you guys were buying prime, what would you actually spend on five days worth of regular Prime? I'd maybe end up spending 50k at the most. So seeing some more Prime would be pretty great. The next thing. Now this might just be me, but in the Battle Pass, there is a lot of different clothing items. For example, even on this page, out of everything here, I don't really want any of this. There's no clothes on this page. On this page, don't want this jacket. Didn't really like these slides. Don't need that little tattoo or piercing on your eyebrow. This jacket, nah. All of this stuff. I mean, you can see all of it in the shop. The only things I do like are the costumes. Hot dog costume, penguin costume, duck costume. Those things I really like. I just think they're funny and cool. But all of this other stuff, like, no, I, why would I want this? How do I try this on? Is there not a try on button? Maybe you can't try it on? I'm, I don't know. Either way, a lot of these clothing items just don't look that great. And I sold most of them off, by the way, and I only have 34,000 credits, which is enough to get one singular item. So if I were to get one, let's say I get this. I never actually buy anything from the Battle Pass, but we got this. Lovely, let's try it on, see how this looks. Nice. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to take off this shirt underneath. I mean, it's not the worst shirt in the world. I actually have this exact shirt in real life, which is kind of funny, but it's not something I'm gonna wear that much. Out of all of the clothes there, it's probably the nicest one. But the point is, there's a lot of really nasty clothes that I don't think I'd ever wear, and a lot of you guys probably wouldn't either. Plus, they're all untradeable, so they'll end up just sitting inside of a car or a storage for a very long time, which I'm assuming is where most people's clothes actually are, and they haven't touched them in forever, pretty much. They just save them for the sake of saving them, I guess. What would be pretty cool, like I said, is if they added some more clothing items that look nice, or if they added clothing items that were already in the city. Like maybe this luminous jacket, for example, or even Adidas pants. They'd most likely be untradeable, but it'd be pretty great. One reason why, prices of certain things would end up going down a lot, which would be awesome because who the hell is going to pay 80 million dollars for Adidas pants? Like, let's actually be honest here. If you're buying those pants for 80 mil, I think that's kind of mad. Then again, if you bought them when they were cheaper than that, pretty smart, because back in the day, they were 8 million bucks. I probably should have bought them back then. Like, so many of the items from the Battle Pass are just clothes. Like, if we go to the final page, which is the Premium Plus page, look how many clothing items there are. There's three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So half of the Premium Plus page is literally just clothing items, and a lot of them don't actually look that nice. Let's try some on. Let's take these away, shall we? These just look disgusting. Some people like them, I don't. Someone actually told me that these are luminous, so I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna take the black and white ones once again. But let's just uh, toss on these pants right here. Yeah, like, um, this is just a big no. Not ever gonna wear these. I am dropping these back on the ground. That is where they belong, on the floor. Let me try on these shoes, though. These actually look kind of fire. Luminous Balenciagas, I will take those. But take in, from this page of the Paddle Pass, like I said, more than half of it is just clothing items that I would never use. If it was other items, like a higher quantity of guns, containers, and things like that, that'd be pretty great. Like I said, it's just my opinion, but from the last two or three Battle Passes that you guys have completed, out of all the clothing items that you took, how many of those clothing items do you actually wear or use? I guarantee it's less than 1%. And to be completely honest, the most used clothing item from this battle pass is probably going to be one of those cool costumes. End of the day, it'd be great to see less clothing items and a bunch of other cool stuff, or the same amount of clothing items, but much better clothes. Next up, I would love to see containers in the battle pass. Now I know what you're thinking. There already is containers, like those drug containers with juice, coke, and weed. There's some of those old autumn and old winter containers. There's gardener's cases and things like that. But what would be really cool is if they decided to add actual containers. Like imagine you just leveled up and then boom, you get the Devo container. Or maybe you get this Bugatti container or this container that costs 50 grand coins. Now this is what would be perfect. The first one that you would unlock would be like a cheap container. That's maybe five grand coins. You get one or two of those for free. The second container maybe costs 12 or 15, and you get one or two once again. Then you level up again, you get the cheap container, but then you get five of them. And then maybe on the second battle pass as like a final reward, you get a 50 grand coin container. Like from those containers, you can actually win a bunch of money. I believe the top prize in them is like 1.8 mil in one of them, I think, maybe even two, I can't remember, but there's also a chance of getting some really cool ass cars. I'd personally love to see that, because I know in the Russian server they have crates in the battle pass where it guarantees you a car from that crate, which I thought was really cool. So it would be awesome if we could see something like that in this server, plus it could also replace some of the clothing items which would be pretty cool. And the final thing that I would love to see in the next battle pass is going to be car upgrades. I just realized there was none in this battle pass, not a single one. In the last battle pass, they gave it a decent amount of those, which I was happy about because when I got my GT3 RS, I instantly took a bunch of those level three upgrades and tossed them right onto my car. And now it is actually fully maxed out. That's why I don't have as much money in cash because the second I finished recording that, I took it straight to a custom shop and upgraded it. Totally worth it. I don't know why I'm not driving that right now. I think it's because I spawned at the wrong house. I was honestly kind of confused though. There was not a single tuning component in this battle pass. And I hope in the next one, they decide to add some because it's honestly just kind of useful. When it comes to transmission, tires, brakes, and suspension, it's not that big of a deal because those are really cheap parts, but the engine component, that does get pretty expensive and you could toss it on any car. So if you're able to get one just from leveling up in the battle pass, it'd be pretty great because then you could toss that on a car that costs $40 million instead of going to chip tuning and upgrading the engine one time for $4 million. Either way, these are the things that I would like to see in the next battle pass. Comment down below if there's anything else that you would like to see. I was thinking of some other stuff, but they actually haven't added that to the game yet. So I might mention those in another video. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next one.